Grade 6 math number 6.1, elapsed time across AM, PM, or days. Elapsed time is the amount of time that is passed from the start to the end of an activity. It's one of the hardest things to figure out is elapsed time when there's a lot of time that went by. The easiest way to do it is to make a table. Emma was sick with a bad cold. The cold medicine instructions on the bottle said to take two pills every six hours. If she took the cold medicine for two full days, what times did she take it? She took her first dose at 4.15 p.m. See, it's 4.15 p.m. on the clock. By making a table, we know she took it every six hours. It's very easy to see how many doses she took, how many days it went by, and what times she took it. 4.15 was the first one. We add six hours, and that takes us to 10.15 p.m. Takes us to 10, right here. And if we add six more hours, one, two, three, four, five, six, it brings us back to 4.15, but now it's a.m. Six more hours, and it would be 10.15 a.m., and another six hours is 4.15 p.m. Another six hours would be 10.15 p.m. Do you see what's happening? Do you see the, the pattern? Because there's 24 hours in a day, and she took it every six hours, she took it four times a day. One, two, three, four. We were able to split each day into four pieces. See? Because it was every six hours. Two days is 48 hours, so she took the medicine eight times. See? Eight different times she took the dose. Because she took it every six hours, and there's 24 hours in a day, the days repeated themselves, the times repeated themselves, I should say. The only thing that changed was when it went from a.m. to p.m. When she was at 10.15 p.m., six hours later was going to bring her into the a.m., see? When she was at the a.m. and six hours went by, it was going to jump to the p.m. because it went past the 12, see? Making a table is one of the easiest ways to follow elapsed time. Here's another one. Tala ordered a new phone case from Amazon.com at 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning. If it took three days, five hours, and 15 minutes to arrive in the mail, when did she receive her new phone case? So, she ordered it at 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning. So we, re we wrote that down. That's when it was ordered. And it was three days, five hours, and 15 minutes. So we make a table. Tuesday at 9.30 a.m., to Wednesday at 9.30 a.m., one day passed. Thursday at 9.30 a.m., two days have now passed. Friday at 9.30 a.m., three days have now passed. Now, it took three days, five hours, and 15 minutes. So now we know it arrived on Friday because it's 9.30 in the morning, and five hours is not enough to take us to Saturday. We need to add five hours to the 9.30. So nine, 10, 11, 12 gets us three hours, and then after the 12, we go one, two. So we're at 2.30 on Friday. That's the five hours, and now we need to add the 15 minutes. 15 minutes from 2.30 p.m. is 2.45 p.m. See? It arrived Friday at 2.45 p.m. See how easy making a table makes it? Sometimes people try to do it with the clock, and if you can imagine the clock in your head, going from 9.30 to 2.30 and counting the hours, making a table is the easier way to go. If you needed to actually make the hours going 10.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 12.30, you know, like that, p.m., 1.30 p.m., then do that. Make all the hours in between here on the table, okay? Here we have to work backwards. Bob's plane landed at the airport at 3.27 a.m., if it was a 6 hour and 11 minute flight, what time did the plane depart the other airport? So what I did was, I made the table, but I started at the bottom, okay? And you have to remember to change from AM to PM when it passes 12. So we know that it landed at 327 AM, so that's when I put it arrived. So it was a 6 hour and 11 minute flight, I went back 1 hour, this is one hour has gone by, so now it's 2.27 a.m. Two hours is 1.27. Three hours is 12.27. And now it's going to jump from a.m. to p.m. from 
the wee hours early in the morning to late at night. And that's four hours. Now we're at 11.27 p.m. It passed the 12 o'clock mark, so we went from a.m. to p.m. Five hours would bring us back to 10.27. Six hours would bring us back to 9.27 p.m. And now all we need to do is take away 11 minutes from this. If we subtract 11 from 27, we get 16. See? So we know that it departed at 9.16 p.m., and I just worked backwards going up with the table. Wasn't that easy? So if you have a very difficult elapsed time problem to figure out, get some scratch paper, make yourself a table, and if you have to draw every single hour on it, then do that. That's fine. That'll help you count back, okay? No big deal. You can do this. I know you can. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.